Blessed Holy Week, beloved family, as we reach the climax, it's so important we know who we are and whose we are. Religion comes from the word ligament, to, to die, bind together, to ligar. And so you can see that we're called to bind ourselves with Jesus and, and be full participants in his story, even to the cross and resurrection. Let's look at the seven scenes of this great story. This is my first Bible with great, great pictures, and I love the pictures. So with pictures, let's retell the story. The first scene is Jerusalem. Jesus entering into Jerusalem and cleansing the temple of Jerusalem as he weeps over Jerusalem and prophesies about the destruction of Jerusalem. And with this is the cursing of the fig tree. And if you remember, Adam and Eve, they cover their nakedness with fig leaves. It's a sign of the tree of death that will wither. It's pointing to the tree of life and the new Jerusalem that will come. Scene two is teachings. We see that the Pharisees and scribes, the high priests, are testing Jesus. Is it lawful to pay taxes? What about your authority and the resurrection? Question about his, his, the greatest of the commandments. And Jesus asks a question back about who is the Messiah, the Son of David and Lord. And they can't answer this question. And so we have the seven woes of the Pharisees and scribes, the hypocrites, as he points to the widow's might. And he also points to our Father. Father, glorify the name of your Son. I have glorified it. comes to thunder's voice from heaven. And I will glorify it again. We are approaching the hour of glory. And this is all part of the second scene, which is the teachings. The teachings also include all these parables of inviting and warning. This is the way to heaven. This is the way to hell. You can be a, a good virgin or a bad virgin, a good sheep or a bad goat, you can multiply your talents or bury your talents. You can come to the wedding feast or not come to the wedding feast. You can be a good servant or a wicked servant. Whatever you choose is what you get. These are the parables. This is the teachings. And as you see, this is a sword. It says in scripture that the tongue of Jesus is a sword. Scene three is the gathering. So we have the, uh, the, the gathering, of course, in Bethsemane, where we have Mary of Bethany anointing the feet of Jesus. And this other gathering is the plotting with, with Judas and the chief priests to betray him for 30 pieces of silver. And also part of this gathering, of course, is the great gathering, the Last Supper, the new covenant, the body and blood of Christ with the wiping, washing of feet as Jesus teaches us by his example. Scene four, Gethsemane, to pray alone, pray all night, thy will be done. Three times he prays his prayer, thy will be done, sweating blood. Um, and then we see, of course, scene, scene five, right? We're at scene five. Yes, scene five is the trial. So three times he is tried with, with the kissing of Judas. The first trial is with the Sanhedrin, the Jews, the Jewish authorities. And then he's tried by Pilate and King Herod and finally tried by the crowds. Three beatings. The first beating of his face is they pull on his beard and they spit on him and beat him. Of course, whipping and the scourging and the crowning of thorns. And three times Peter denies him. Uh, to remember this story, do this in remembrance of me. Scene six, of course, is the carrying of the cross and uh, the stations of the cross, uh, as we'll be experiencing it this afternoon at three o'clock. And then finally is the crucifixion, at least three hours, three final prayers with three nails. There's Jesus hanging between heaven and earth. And with the crucifixion, of course, is the burial and the longing for the Messiah to come. Mary Magdalene, she really longs. Are you longing for the Messiah to come to embrace his feet? Let us live these mysteries, religion bound always with Jesus, and Jesus always with us to his resurrection.